G'day legends and welcome to the Slice for AFL Play. My name is Rog. And my name is Star. And this, as always, is for the playmakers, for anyone who's ever picked up the footy or enjoyed the game from the sidelines. We're going to be serving you a slice of play every week right here on the Slice. If you do not mind, Star, what the hell is going on here? (laughs) So, Rog, I told you I had some very fun surprises planned for you over the next few weeks because we are trying to find you a new hobby. And Mm. today... We are painting. I said last week, you you introed me to this with like a pen and a bit of paper to do a drawing. And I canvassed then. I laid all my cards on the line. I said, I do not like art. I don't want to be involved in painting or art. And lo and behold, here we are. I've taken that as a challenge because I think deep down there is truly a Picasso within you. And I said to you that <laughs> well, the hobby I want to undertake is surfing in a combi van. Where is my combi van and where is my surfboard? Well, I'd already bought all the paint, okay? So in this economy, we've just got to we've just got to play on. Can I, what am, am I able to paint a surfboard on a combi van? Um, well, the subject of our art today, and we're going to be painting the entire time that we are talking as well, because we can I, multitask. I can't. We. <laughs> I'm the well, worst multitasker ever. Today you're going to learn. We are going to be doing portraits of each other. So as long as I'm in the painting, you can do whatever else you want. I'm scared of this because I feel like <laughs> no, like even if I do the most perfect drawing, like it's the most beautiful woman you've ever seen on there, I'm still scared I'm going to offend you. No, I'm still scared I'm, you're going to find an element and go, my ears aren't that big. I'm secure in myself. And it can be abstract if you want it to. Mm. So what colour are you going to go for your background? There's a... Ba- I was thinking just leaving the canvas as a background. Oh, well, if you want negative space, that's fine. I think that there's art in a blank canvas and it leaves the imagination up to the beholder. That is beautiful. Thank so you. while we begin our painting, should we get into our 6.1 point? Yes, we should. My one pointer star is that um, I live with two blokes, Checkers and Stray, the, the Marmalade, Marmalade boys. boys. And ne- right next to our house is an alleyway where we park. Yep. Right, And it's our own alleyway, but it only fits two cars. Uh, we've had a bloke sleeping over. His name's Will Taylor, legend on TikTok. You may have seen him. And he's been using the car spot because he doesn't leave the house. I go to work. So I park on the street. But I don't have a park permit. And twice in a week, because my car parks have been used, the alleyway is full. I've had to park on the street. And in the same week, I got two parking oh, cars. Oh, no. 150 bucks each. Why can't you just get a permit? I can get a permit, but I'm too lazy. I don't think about these things in advance. Um, I just let them happen and then I pay the consequence later. And have you learnt your lesson? I think I have learnt my lesson actually because when you're about to go to work for the next eight hours of your day and you start the day with being $150 out of pocket so when you go to work, <laughs> it's actually for no reason. It's just to get back to level. That's a horrible feeling. Yeah, that start, is rough. I don't know about this. I don't know about this for an idea. <laughs> I've already butchered it. I've tried to do an outline. This oh. is your. This is the outline of your head. Okay. It's looking really good. I, you know, I actually did art in year seven. Yeah. So this is taking me back How'd to. You, how were your grades? I really gave it a go. Yeah. Not my grades, but my artwork. Yeah. What was your six pointer, Rog? My six pointer. It's been that long since I've been on a holiday, like a <gasps> really, really long time. Um, and so me and my uh, like school group of mates, of which we still have a really tight knit group like 15 of us, have booked a road trip to Byron Bay all the way from Melbourne and we're camping all along the way over New Year's. So it's like a 10-hour drive. We're, we're camping at, after the 10 hours, jump back in the car and we've got like 15 yeah. of my best mates all going on a big trip to Byron Bay over New Year's. That is so – wait, so how long is the trip all the way from Melbourne to Byron? I don't know, like 20, 30 hours. Wow. But we're breaking it up and we're camping along the way. So how many of you? Um, there is about 15 of us. It's going to be unreal. And we've also locked in Strawberry Music, Strawberry Fields Music Festival. I don't know if you're familiar with the one, but it is unreal. So a couple of things to look forward to. There's nothing better than having two real exciting events to look forward to. That sounds so fun. Uh, my one point, first of all, painting check-in. How are you going? That looks so good. <laughs> I'm painting you, but you kind of look like Groot from Avengers. Like you're giving tree energy. Wow. <laughs> oh, yours looks so much. Oh, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So my one pointer for this week, it's a little bit silly, but, you know, we feel very passionate about everything here on The Slice. You're a silly person, star. <laughs> I'm a silly girl. You are a silly, silly person. And we have spoken at length on this show about how we feel about eggs and the way that they should be prepared, right? Yes. Must be boiled more often than not. But something that needs to be spoken about more often is also the inconsistency of certain fruits because... 
this week I thought I need some vitamin C in my life. I'm going to treat myself to some mandarins. Oh, mandarins are unreal. They're better than oranges in my opinion. Yeah, they can be. You can be. break them up. Yeah, they can be unreal and they can also be terrible because I got a mandarin this morning <laughs> that – <laughs> was the least juiciest citrus fruit I've ever had in my entire life. It had so many seeds in it and it really no, just... No, the mandarin's done you dirty. It did because <laughs> I like the ones with no seeds. That's usually my vibe. So that's my one point this week is that I just feel like I have trust issues. You know what would be good with the mandarin? Go on. If instead of having like orangey type fruit inside of it, it had mango. <gasps> like Because the problem with mango is that it's like too hard to... You need to cut it up with a knife. You need to do the outline and then pop it out. Too much admin. Too much admin. If you could just chuck like mand- little mandarin mango slices, I need to look into that. I ship that. I'm into that. Yeah. And then my six pointer for this week, my highlight is that I have made a purchase that I believe has changed my life. Yeah. And I'm not being dramatic because I'm not a dramatic person. You know me, Rog. Yeah, you're not a dramatic person at all. Not in the slightest. You're the least dramatic person I've ever met. And I have bought a projector. Uh, why have you bought a projector? What are you planning on projecting? So I can watch, not my emotions. I won't be projecting my emotions. Mm. I bought a projector so I can watch movies in my room. And it is the greatest thing I've ever purchased. I feel like I'm on MTV Cribs, how really? the celebrities have a home theatre. Where Where are you projecting? On like your wall? On the or? wall. I've got a nice blank wall in my room and I have been watching. You could watch the footy highlights I there. could. You could watch the oh. slice on the projector. We asked, we were watching the footy the other day and we um, uh, someone asked a great question. If you had a TV of which for one day you could watch literally anything you want. So imagine like the dinosaurs being created, like, sorry, the dinosaurs walking around. You could see real life aliens. You could literally pick, you could pick like the whole highlights package of your life. If you could pick anything to put on that TV for you to sit back and watch... What Gosh. would what would it be? Because I've got the objectively right answer. Um, mine is definitely Taylor Swift era's tour concert. You can already watch that. Well, you can <laughs> literally it's there available to you. You, mine, you could watch any. You could watch like the pyramids being built. Uh, mine would be Carlton FC winning the grand final. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> that is the <laughs> nicest. Thing that has ever come out of you, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because I know, wow. and you know what, Rog? I would want to watch it with you because I know how that's, much that means to you. Now that means the world. Yeah. That's probably the best thing you, anyone's ever said. I got you. Um, for me, I've got a better answer though. <laughs> My is similar. You know how the way we look at ants, right? So ants are just nothing. They're, they're, they're like tiny, right? Imagine if aliens looked at us the way we look at ants. So they're that much above us that we're just ants to them. Imagine those aliens' version of football. Like we think that football's good now, but imagine if there are aliens out there that are that good. They've got a version of footy a million times better. That is very meta. I want to like- watch alien football. Wow. Okay, so what would your alien footy team be called? I'd call them the Sledgehammers. The s- <laughs> Beep boop Sledgehammer. Okay. A few weeks ago, we did the bestie test and we Ooh. actually got better results than I thought. We did pretty well. No, I thought we did as well as I thought we would because I actually believe in our friendship, unlike some people. <laughs> Okay, uh, so look, Ronj, I thought today we would raise the stakes, take things a little step further when it comes to the world of besties. Yeah. And we are going to play... A best friend wouldn't make a best friend do something that they're really bad at. It's about growth, Rog, right. okay? okay? What doesn't challenge you won't change you. Okay. Okay, Confucius. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to play a little game that I've seen on TikTok. We're going to call it In Sync. And what we have to do is I'm try pretty sure that's already been taken. In Sync. <laughs> I think JT I think JT Timberlake. might have a word to you about that. <laughs> so what we're going to do, you've probably seen it on TikTok if you're watching this at home. We are both going to say a word at the exact same time and essentially we're going to just keep going through the rounds of saying different words until we say the same word in sync. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I, I feel like I'm really good at this sort of stuff. Yeah, same. I think we might get it first go. <gasps> okay. Like, imagine if we just say, but let's make a rule where it can't be, don't go something predictable like Slay or Taylor Swift. <laughs> let's, like, go something real abstract and nail it on the first go. Well, no pressure if we don't nail it on the first nah, go. No, but I reckon we will. Okay. One, two, three. Fire Orange. Fire extinguisher. One, two, three. Red. Red. Yeah! Oh, that's so good! <laughs> that was... 
unreal. <gasps> oh my god! What was that? Do people normally get it in two goes? Oh, we are fully besties. That, that makes me so was. happy. Wow. I mean, I know that I was gunning for one, but two is just unbelievably impressive. That is so good. We're not, you know, some people say they're on the same page. We're on the same syllable. <laughs> um, painting check-in. How's your painting going? I'm nearly finished. I've just got background stuff to do now, but I don't want to unveil it because it pretty much is done. Last week, you told me that you're going to be putting on size this summer. So I've actually given you really big muscles. Really? You already have them. This but is like- a projection. I like it. I'm actually starting to get more and more happy with mine. <laughs> Maybe I'm more of an artist than what I thought. I reckon we go one more round of the in sync game just to make sure it wasn't a fluke. Yep. I don't think it was, but I reckon we do it. Okay. One, two, three. Disco. Floor. What'd you say? Floor. Oh. One, two, three. Dance. Dance. Yeah. I knew, I knew we were going to get it. No, because we're, I swear we're telepathic because you just gave me a look yeah, and I was like, knew. yeah, we know. We knew before we even got there that it was uh, that we were on. Should we do one more just for the lols? Yeah, I, I think we can, but <sighs> I, I just feel like we've already proven so much. But let's prove it again. Okay. 100%. Right. One, two, three. Coffee. <laughs> Okay, this is going to be impressive. All right. One, two, three. Mug. Scissors. Oh, mug and scissors. All right. Oh. Um, three, two. Wait, no, I don't have anything. Wait. <laughs> One, two, three. School. Table. Okay. One, two, three. Lunch. Desk. Oh, I should have got that. One, two, three. Recess. <laughs> Didn't even have anything to say. I'm disappointed. Oh, no, because we We're got so good so on the good. other one. Oh, I feel oh. like the pressure's gotten to us now. I feel like we've just ran out of ran, ran out of best friendship. Like no, it's time we call it's it a never day. ending. I think we were best friends and then we went, got greedy and now it's our hubris. No, but our, our excessive pride leading to our downfall for those not into Shakespeare. But <laughs> but our bestiness is real life, not right, performative. Let's so have, we're trying to perform. Right, so what, you went recess and I didn't say no, anything. No, let's start again. Oh. Okay. One more? Yep. One, two, three. Prawn. Orange. One, two, three. Pink. Christmas. One, two, three. What? Santa. What Santa? Santa? One, two, three. Snow. Snow. Yes. <laughs> Thank God. What was that? You four or four? You gave me the look again. Yeah, I was like, yeah. It has to yeah. be. Yeah, yeah. And when you gave me the look, as I gave you the look, and I just knew there was only <laughs> one. There was only one answer. Yeah. Righto, stars. I think we need to get serious. We need to put the paintings away. I know that that might break your heart because it's time to talk sledgehammers. Of course, the sledgehammers is the AFL team that we are creating. It's time for us to come up together. We last week we did the Guernseys. It was our first uh, element of our football side that we are creating. But this week. We need to get the players on board. We've got to recruit some people. We need to find some talent. So we are competing against the AFL to uh, the already established teams like Carlton and Collingwood, but hopefully we can recruit some players ourselves. I think that people want to join the sledges, but you know, I work in social media and I know how important it is to be able to communicate to your audience exactly what it is. Remember, you what you don't quite understand. <laughs> the idea of the sledgehammers you went to abstract last week of course we're the sledgehammers because we we run through brick walls we demolish yes. brick walls brick walls fear us they have nightmares about us they sleep with night lights on just in case we walk into the room yet last week for the guernsey you put butterfly wings yes. on it angel wings on the guernsey it completely defies the objective of what we're, what we're trying to communicate it today is all about art and art is all about perspective so perhaps you're just not looking at it through the correct but lens. once again i don't think this is the, this is a forum for art i think this is a forum <laughs> for intimidation and scare tactics so should we do our recruiting spree and see if we can get any players to the club yes but we have to agree that you're going to bring your vibe to the recruitment video and i'll bring mine and then at least we're covering both ends, mm. all bases. So then we can bring the sledges to us. Mm. How does that sound? Mm. Well, we'll work on it. Let's I think <laughs> I'll give you my vibe. And if you can match mine, that'd be ideal. But if you can't, we'll see how we go. All right. Are you sick and tired of being a coward? Are you currently in a flop era? Do you run the opposite direction whenever you look at a brick wall? We are the sledgehammers and we want you. We want you and we want you to win. We don't care about fun. We care about premierships. But it's also okay if we don't win every time because we love the journey. If you lose, you're not welcome. You run through brick walls and you run straight through them at a million miles an hour. We also plant flowers around the brick walls because we love our teammates. We destroy, we punish, we brutalise. We are the sledgehammers. 
we hug and make friendship bracelets together. We make them wish they never played football in the first place. We destroy them. Join the Sledgehammers today. Are you a coward? The answer is no, be a Sledgehammer. Oh, Rog, do you need to check your blood pressure after that? I you really? am sweating. <laughs> I think yeah. I became my like my spirit animal in that moment was Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Or the Macho Man Randy Savage. You wouldn't know wrestling, but it's like, what you gonna do when Hulk Hogan comes down on you? I know who he is, but thank you for that. Yeah, for I, really, I went full Hulk Hogan. For mate. really bringing that into the studio. Thank you. Uh, hopefully we get some responses. So please let us know in the comments if you'd like to join. We are pretty much accepting everyone Your energy was okay as well i suppose i feel like you're too hard on me rog no i think it was good for a certain audience but not the audience we're trying to attract maybe we we'll will see. get a really eclectic diverse group of like people that are there to destroy and people that are there to slay <laughs> all right rog is it time to reveal our artwork i think you're going to be impressed i think that you're <laughs> going to hang this like above your bed in your room or something like. let's do okay, that okay one two three <laughs> that is sensational. Oh my god, that, that is great. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so talk me through yours, Rog. So obviously, um, the blonde hair and the big smile Stunning. is what you think of when you think of stars straight away. And I wanted to go minimalist on the torso because Watch. I wanted the whole attraction to be to your face. So <laughs> that is the main event, which is obviously the abstract sort of art about it. Beautiful blue eyes, as Stunning. you can see there. And then obviously you're on a hot girl walk because you walk because <laughs> there's grass underneath. So you're obviously out like on your hot girl walk in the morning. And uh, projected onto the screen, we've got Taylor Swift oh. and Slay. Oh, that is, I, I I feel emotional looking at that. That is so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. And what about yours? Okay, so here we have Rog in a Carlton jersey, of course, mm. um, and facing your one true opponent in life, the brick wall, yes. which you are about to run through. As you'll see, we've got the word boom, and then a bit of like a bit of comic vibes here, you know, because you are just about to run through it, or you just have run through it. And I gave you big muscles because you're really muscly, and you're Thank your gym you. boy era. Um, with the hair, I accidentally got green paint. I thought it was black. That's okay. But that's fine. I, I can feel, go green. I, I can go like, green for sure. Yeah, it's fine. I <laughs> think that you're, this is one where I'm going to give you the appropriate credit and say, I think yours might just beat mine <laughs> by a nose. I think yours is beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> so, Rog, we are obviously on the quest to find you a new hobby. Mm. What did you rate this week's hobby compared to last week? I hated ten? it. I hated it because I hate being bad at things. And that's probably a top the character trait of myself but I hate when I know I'm bad at something and I'm absolutely horrible at this so I do not like this I did not like the fashion but we can work on it we can find a new hobby for me but so do you prefer the fashion or the painting I preferred the fashion Really? Yeah, just because I'm into, I don't mind fashion. I'm a, I, I don't mind the concept of fashion, but the idea of painting, I just can't wrap my head around it. So, I think you're uh, being, you need to be kinder to yourself because you've done a great job. I appreciate that, Star. But next week, if we can get that combi van and the surfboard, then we'll really be, we'll really be going. <laughs> I'll work on it. And please, guys, let us know in the comments. Do you have any suggestions for things that Rog and I should try? Because we really got to find what sticks. And maybe painting wasn't it, but at least you've got this to stick up in your house with the marmalade boys. I now. Absolutely will. Check his and stray. We'll love it. <laughs> oh, bring it in. Another great episode. Done and dusted. Maybe instead of taking these paintings home, we add them to like <gasps> the decor around the room. Like we hang them up permanently. Cool. And it also becomes like an inside joke between us as well. Because it's if you know, you know. I think this will outlive us. <laughs> I think that these are iconic. <laughs> it's been such a fun episode today. And make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another. We'll be back here on The Slice next Wednesday day at 6 30 p.m make sure you follow us on socials at afl play we are on instagram we are on tiktok and of course we are on youtube we are all about playing your way so please drop your suggestions in the comments below for hobbies that rog and i should try we miss you already and we can't wait to see you next week bye the slice presented by afl plays hosted by star mcg and connor rogers the Slice is recorded and produced at Amplify Studios situated on Gadigal land. We pay our respects to the traditional owners of the land and waters in which we record on.